It's 1936. Germany is consumed by the most devastating civil war Europe has seen since Russia's over a decade ago. The coalition of socialists, democrats and Kaiser loyalists all take up arms against the problematic Nazi regime, but if Germany is to survive the coming years, this war must be over fast. Desperate for a quick victory, August seeks Soviet support, allowing Soviet spies to infiltrate and influence Western Europe. Since the war, Germany have leaned towards democracy, peacefully striving for a second Deutsche Bund, a democratic confederation of German states united by the will of the German people. However, in Western Europe, things haven't been so peaceful. Violent communist revolutions have encompassed Western Europe, and now the common turn surrounds Germany, waiting to strike. But Germany have made moves of her own. Allied with the PLC, Hungary and Britain, the fight against communism is imminent. Hi, I'm Colonel Cam, and welcome to Six Years as the German Confederation in Hearts of Iron 4. Hello guys. Now this game is kind of crazy. I know it's shorter, but I do a really cool peace deal at the end, okay? I promise. Now really quickly before we get into the video, you see this graph? This graph tells me exactly what I need to know. That you guys are not subscribing. So please, out of the kindness of your heart, Press the red button, I would greatly appreciate it. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Okay, so I know this looks like it's Vanilla Hoi 4, but it's not, okay? I'm playing a mod. This is actually modded Germany. This mod was actually suggested by one of my Patreons, so thank you for that suggestion. It's an expansion on the opposed Hitler route. So I gotta choose this as soon as possible when we get the whole civil war. So everything is as normal at the start, but if we go over here, there's an option to accept Soviet help. And then this unlocks this whole tree here. It just makes it better because, you know, the German tree in the base game is... It's kind of lacking, okay, to say the least. As you saw from the intro, accepting Soviet help causes Western Europe to have a bunch of communist revolutions. And we're going to be fighting a bunch of it. But before we worry about fighting communists, we're going to worry about our own civil war, okay? I'm building civs in the West here because... Obviously, the Civil War is going to stop me from building anything in Berlin. Wehrmacht officers challenged Hitler and the Civil War was underway. This Civil War is pretty easy because we get like a huge buff from Mackensen giving us like 20% attack and defense on core territory. But I want to try and finish this war with the least amount of casualties possible. So here we go. Here we go. The Soviet Union offers assistance. Stalin detests Hitler's idea of a national socialism. He wants to see the Nazis gone as much as we do. As a result, he has offered to send us German volunteers, especially from the Volga German Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic. That's that's a handful. However, this would also open direct channels for Soviet influence across the heart of Europe. Yeah, this is what we're talking about. Communism's going to spread like wildfire. Only a fool would refuse a helping hand. Look at this. Belgium, Soviet influence, France, the, the Netherlands, Switzerland, Luxembourg, Austria. The best strategy in the civil war is to use your tanks to go towards Czechoslovakia, cutting the Nazis in half. As you can see, that is exactly what I'm doing. And then I decided to make some sort of goal for myself. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Goal is to get under... I want to get under 20,000. Do you reckon I can get under 20,000? Or is that outrageous? That might be outrageous. I don't know. You know, looking back on that, uh, this number was quite ambitious. Anyway, I reached the Czechoslovak border and started focusing on defeating the Nazis in the south. There it is. 21k. We didn't do it. Okay, under 30k. Under 30k for real. Despite my careful microing of divisions, I didn't get under 30k either. So it was quite a terrible attempt. I'm not going to lie. And I'm not going to do it again, okay? This isn't the point of the video. Teaming up with the communists in the Civil War also has its downsides. They now expect us to like give them like free stuff and shorter working hours. Pfft, get out of here. We get four civs from this. Dude, I can't know. I don't care if we get communism support. Oh my days. It's at 41%. I don't care. I, I, I want those civs. I entered Berlin and the civil war was pretty much over. Now what to do with the Nazis? Uh, we can hang them or imprison the Nazi leadership. Yeah, we both of them delete their templates. So now we got nothing. Underground network discovered. This right here is the Soviet attempt at making us communist. But we're not having it, no way. We kind of just get them all and we just kind of shove them over to France so that they can deal with it. Anyway, we can finally do the first focus of this new tree. A, a bright future. Hitler is dead and Germany lies in ruins, but our people are finally free. It is time for our men to return home, to celebrate and mourn the fallen heroes who have paid the ultimate price. We must now seek justice for those who have inflicted this pain and misery upon us. There we go, we get clamped down on fascism. Uh, can we clamp down on communism? That's a bit of a problem, but we have a lot of political power. We're going free trade, we need to build stuff. Yeah, yeah, free trade, that's the way to go. Volunteer divisions disbanded. We also got to decide what to do with the volunteers that came over and just the normal Nazi soldiers. This. Yeah, war support. Why would we not? Look at all that stuff. No, why would I do that? Yeah, let them stay. They, they stay here. We got a bunch of manpower from it. What about the men that ended up on the wrong side of the war? We can't just put hundreds of thousands of men f in prison, especially no, not in our current situation. We have to rebuild our army and the country. 
I decided to let all the simple soldiers go, you know, we get a bunch of manpower from it and yeah, they, were, they were just soldiers, they weren't really conducting orders, so yeah. I also let the squad leaders and officers go because we get like defense bonuses on core territory, like we get some insane buffs, so I can't really just get rid of them. Trance into inner circles. Entrance, bro. Did I just say entranced? <laughs> Granted them entrance into inner circles. Okay, I'll explain to you why I'm so bad at reading when I play, when I play these mods. It's because I have my microphone closer to me, right? And my screen isn't very big. I don't have a big monitor. It's a laptop screen. I'm not even kidding. So if I leaned in closer to read it, I would be like over my microphone and it would sound weird. So I'm like far enough away to talk into my microphone but I'm not close enough to be able to read it really that well. It, it, I gotta fix this problem. Basically, we just infiltrated the communist system that the Soviets put there, and now we can split the attention and just send them all to France. I'm also trying to work on a navy, and when I say navy, I mean just spamming out a bunch of submarines, because that's what a navy is in Hoifu. After getting a chief of army, the UK declared war on Norway, which I'm not sure if, it, if this is supposed to happen, but it did. Why? Is that supposed to happen? But forget about that, I was now able to create the second Deutsche Bund, or like the second German Confederation in English, it's pretty cool. First iteration of the German Confederation existed between 1815 and 1866 as a successor to the dissolved Holy Roman Empire. It removed trade barriers and provided security for all members. We should recreate the Bund together with Austria, or Bund, I think it's Bund, I don't know, together with Austria and open the door for all other German states who want to join. So now it'll be called uh, Deutsche Bund and Bund member. Look at this, new flag. And uh, we got dispersed industry, cool. What is going on? The Republicans are winning. Oh my God, is that part of the, uh, that's probably what the mod does because it wants a communist Spain as well. I probably could have supported the nationalists, but I'm not sure if I would have made that much of a difference to change the war, so I didn't really do it. Anyway, remember how we were shoving all the communists over to France? Well, they finally decided to start a revolution. We've also gathered enough compromising material that would link the operation to Moscow. All we need to do now is ignite the spark. I mean, it's just too perfect. We caused the French Revolution and then blamed it on the Soviets, and they probably believe us as well. well there it is. There's a, oh, the French commune. Dude, that's a large part of France. Now that France is busy with their civil war, I don't think they would notice if we just walked into Alsace Lorraine, right? Exploit the situation and try and shorten the border. Becomes owner of controller of Alsace Lorraine, starts a water bore. What the hell's a water bore? Anyway, basically we annex Alsace Lorraine and then we just start a border war against the other tiny state next to it. Today, Mackinson presented stacks of incriminating evidence accusing the Soviet Union of not only carrying out sabotage actions against Germany, but also heinously provoking the civil war in France. Multiple neighboring nations have expressed their gratitude towards Germany. Thank you. I know, we're great. We're obviously, we definitely didn't do that ourselves at all. Relations between Germany and the Soviets have been shattered irreparably terribly after the event however civil war has reached switzerland that's weird okay so now the french communists have just annexed western switzerland but it's okay because i get the rest of it as a puppet so you know what i'm not complaining anyway 1938 would be quite eventful multiple countries just vanish okay don't ask me where they go <laughs> okay we can ban the communist party um no we're gonna let them rot negative 100 percent communism support <laughs> yeah here we go Goodbye. No more communism here. So now the Soviets have responded to me blaming the French Revolution on them. They're like extraditing every German in the Soviet Union. Like even the diplomats, they're all getting sent off in like a month. So now we gotta go rescue them through the Black Sea and like transfer them on convoys back to Germany. I think, yeah, the commune, yep, the commune just won. I was about to say the commune is about to capitulate them, but uh, yeah. So that's gonna be interesting. Guys, it's, it's Kaiserreich, guys. <laughs> just kidding. They're definitely going to want Alsace Lorraine back. Apparently the civil war in France has rekindled a lot of Belgium tensions. I, I don't know what's going on there, but it's, well, you'll see. France really wants Southern Belgium. What's it called? Like Wallonia? They really want that. And now we have to do a whole conference with Britain to divide up Belgium. Oh, the United Kingdom decided to wake up. Still at war with Norway. I don't know if that, okay. I don't know if that's normal, but fine. The British were worried at the conflict between France and the Netherlands could result in the end of the entire Netherlands. Somehow the Dutch are involved as well. I don't know where they came in, but they also hate Belgium for some reason. France wants Belgium, and I'm happy to take the Luxembourg part of Belgium, and Britain are just happy to mediate it. The Netherlands are not satisfied. Of course they're not. The representatives of the Netherlands would rather opt for a reintegration of Flanders into the Netherlands, which would be strongly rejected by the French commune. Yeah. Anyway, I have the option to support the Dutch proposal or just support the French, and there's no way I'm supporting the French, okay? So I'm backing the Dutch all the way. Finally, the French fold, and we got what we wanted. 
Oh, look at that, man. So now both Switzerland and Belgium pretty much don't exist anymore. Well, Switzerland kind of, but it's our puppet. You know, two neutral countries, they're just gone. It's, the war is coming. But now it's our turn. You know, France and the Netherlands aren't the only people who can exert influence. I'm Germany, all right? I'm the Deutsche Bund. We just have to look east and we can exert influence on a very particular country, Poland. So we can negotiate with Poland. Germany has been torn apart and we need to restore it, yes. We've heard this before, hopefully. Um, they accept. But of course, we're a peaceful democracy. We're not just going to invade Poland, right? Not like the Nazi regime, but that came before us. Fortunately, they were open to talks, but they didn't really want to give us much land, which I don't blame them, but it wasn't enough for me. For the sake of peace and future cooperation, however, they are willing to talk about the sizable return of land, including the free city of Danzig, should we agree on certain demands. Basically, the green is the land that they're going to give us, and the red is the land that they're not. And I'd want more land, you know? That's not even half of it. Fortunately, I got some advice from the person that requested this to reject the first offer, because they come back with a better one on the second offer, so yeah. The second option was much better, so I went with that one. Four civilian factories, and we get land. Oh, look at that! We are officially... A recognizable Germany. While I was doing this, Spain joined the common turn. So now we're pretty surrounded. I mean, Spain, not that strong though, because they just went through a civil war, so it might not be that bad. Italy declared war on the Italian Union? No, Italy are going to it. And of course, we got to get Memel. Poland are actually invading Lithuania, and then we take Memel from that, and they create the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Lithuania went along with the restoration of the Commonwealth. Poland held its promise and returned the Memel land back to us. Oh, Poland just annexes it. They invaded them for nothing. And we got Memel. Oh, the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, yes! The Soviet response, they're not happy about that. The action in the Baltics did not go unanswered soon after. Okay, they're going to annex Latvia and Lithuania. I just, Estonia, I just see it happening. Yeah, look at them. They just annex the rest of that. Cool. That's their response. Wow. Anyway, if I'm going to fight the French communists in the common turn, I'm going to need some allies. So I started working my way towards that. Line. Oh, we got a faction, the European Vanguard. I didn't know that. Oh, okay, that was what that did. Um... Who wants to join the European Vanguard? Okay, Eastern Europe, I don't know what that did. It was something, it didn't say, it said it has no effect, but I, I don't know. We can approach Hungary though. Before dealing with Hungary, I also got the PLC on my side. So now we actually border the Soviets. All we need to do to get Hungary on our side is to reverse the Treaty of Trinan, okay? Just give them all their land back. And standing in the way of that is Czechoslovakia. So we got to dissolve that. I'm going to get a bit of land. Poland is going to get a bit of land and so is Hungary. Easy pickings. Let's see what week two brings. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's your, Oh, look at this. Okay. Cool. Therefore, we were able to give the rest of Slovakia to Hungary, which will strengthen our bond while taking the wind out of the sails of the Hungarian hardliners. Lovely. Look at this, bro. That is that is a, a strange border. I feel like Hungary should have these two. I don't know. I, I don't know if I like this, but it's fine. That's cool. That's cool. However, Hungary is still not happy. They want more land, especially from Romania, you know, the Transylvania part. So they just go and take it from them on their own. Not even my mediation or anything. Soviet invasion of Bessarabia. Oh, yeah. At least Bulgaria gets that. Oh, dear. Poor Romania. Now that Romania has been pretty much eaten up by all of its neighbors, there isn't much left and it, it, the rest of it is just vanishes, man. I don't know where it went. Political shift in Hungary. Okay, they become more democratic. Yeah, look at this. Lose fascism support and get democracy. You just see, you just need to give Hungary land and they become democratic. Would you look at that? And now, guess what? Another partition of another country and it's Yugoslavia. Um, and me and Italy are now in talks and Italy is communist. So I don't know why I'm in talks with them, but we're partitioning Yugoslavia. Uh, Italian influence in the Balkans. Istria, this bit of land for them getting even, like, probably, like, Bosnia and Croatia. Mmm. Ah. Uh, you know what? Fine. I'll do it. What is that? Socialist. Oh, they got Serbia as well. I thought they were just going to annex. Oh, at least Hungary got Croatia. That kind of looks cursed, though. Italy hasn't joined the common turn yet, and I assume they weren't going to be a problem, Um, but we'll see. Bulgaria, which is now the Balkan Union, joined my faction, and so did the Netherlands, and I was about to invite Finland, and then this happened. Oh! I'm cancelling that immediately. No, they can do their winter war. Let me let them do their winter war before we invite the Finns into our faction. Do this one. Uh, Greater Germany something. I think, uh, what does Bund mean? Is it like coalition or something? I don't know. I was so close. It's actually confederation. Coalition, that was really, that was a good effort. There we go. It is time to solidify the pan-German idea by consolidating all members of the Bund into a more homog homogenous new system. Let the celebrations begin. Oh, we just annexed Austria. 
and yeah, we just annexed. Hell yeah! Look, look at this. It's crazy, man. Okay, we we can get a new flag. The Bund never com encompassed Switzerland before. Should we keep the historical flag of 1815? I chose to keep the historical flag to keep continuity. Uh, it also looks better than the other two options. I don't even know what that third one is. Okay. I've uh, organized my divisions, kind of. I've not got any divisions in the east, I think. Well, I've got more. My lands are actually here. But I do. I will send one army down here. Once, Hopefully we clean up this pretty quickly, and then I can send this army over if they need help. I don't know. I was convinced Italy was going to backstab me and join the common turn last minute, but they weren't doing it, and I was very surprised. But I kept divisions down there, just in case. Scandinavian cousins. So let's get Finland into our faction. And then, I don't know, what is this? Land purchase. We get... Land from Denmark, I think? I don't know. Okay, Finland, join my faction. Oh, invite Norway, Finland, Denmark, Sweden. Oh, I can invite all of them. Now, Norway is at war with Britain. I don't... Britain is such a weird, weird one. Um, I'm not going to invite Norway. I don't want war with the UK. The UK are democracies. I'm going to invite Sweden, Finland, Denmark. And I don't know what Greece is going to do. Serbia will join the common turn. Britain is just being Britain. They're too busy conquering the rest of the world. Communists finally responded to my activities in Central Europe and they invaded Portugal. I don't know why, what Portugal did to deserve this, but now we have the U I Iberian Socialist Republic or something. British response. Oh, the British, the British are not, the British are actually doing something. Okay, seeing the invasion, they're not having it, bro. The British, nah. Seeing the invasion of their former ally, the British have started to seize the French holdings in India, as well as sending troops to protect... Portuguese, Mozambique, and Timor. I want the British on my side. Their navy would be so powerful and so useful. Plus, wouldn't that make America like us more? What are America even going to do, man? Are they just going to be neutral the entire time? Uh, now the Iberian Union. People's... Re Whoa, they're like a, a vomit color. That's cool. No, I actually like this color. This color's cool. I've got night mode on, so... But bro, they could have given this guy... They they could have added this guy a portrait. Then Spain just decided they wanted to seize Gibraltar, and that definitely got the British on my side. You see this fight we're up against? You see what we're up against, Neville Chamberlain? Your appeasement isn't going to work with these guys. It's not going to work. You need to be on our side, okay? And invite the United Kingdom. Come on, UK. There we go. Today, representatives of the UK and Germany have met in Brandenburg to ceremoniously high sign several treaties that regulate the cooperation and mutual military assistance. This did put us at war with Norway, so I had to go invade them. But while we were invading them, France had a very interesting demand. I don't think having Norway will be that useful, like their army. I think just because when I puppet them, their army's going to disappear. But I don't think that army was that good anyway. I'll do that. Whoa. Our says the reign or war. France presented us an ultimatum today. Either we return their rightful property, or they will retake the land we stole for them by force. And you know, there's no way I'm giving in to their demands, but before we declared war on them, I actually want, well, they declared war on us. Before I accepted their declaration of war on us, I needed to capitulate Norway because they were distracting. Right, I'm just going to satellite uh, Norway. I'm not even going to have to give them any, like, war reparations or anything. They did nothing wrong. I feel bad, but I will take as much of the navy that I can. Okay, France declares war on us. Let's go. The great, uh, what do you, what war do you even call this? The great Bundes War. There we go. <laughs> oh, look at them go into the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. The Soviets immediately started advancing onto my allies. Considering I've got no troops there, it won't be long until they fall. My plan is to knock France out of the war and then go focus on Russia. The northern border of France was pretty weak, so I got my tanks there and started rolling through. Also, I think I should be at war with Italy by now, but I'm not. They just haven't even joined the common turn. I guess I did this peaceful exchange, gave them the Balkans, and they were happy. I don't know. It doesn't really make a difference. I have divisions there that would crush them anyway. Dude, where are their divisions? What are they doing? What are the French doing? I think the reason I'm crushing France right now is because I have no divisions on the Soviet border. Like, I've just left this up to my allies. I don't even have any land bordering it, so I don't see why I need to right now. If they get close to me, then I'll divert some divisions, but I just want to focus on France. But I think this faction's a bit OP, I'm not going to lie. The faction that we have. Like, Britain should be just, like, on their own, doing their own thing. It'd, like, be an adversary. And I don't know why we got Scandinavia. I feel like we should get Finland, but the rest of Scandinavia, not really. It wasn't long before France capitulated, and then I started walking into Spain, and that wasn't that difficult either. Okay, there we go, there's, Al uh, there's Iberia, done. After cleaning up the rest of the troops in Iberia, I then moved my army to the Russian front. Sweden is invading in Leningrad. Dude, oh, Finland isn't doing too well. Dude, that's where the Soviet army is, they're in Finland. Loki, I thought this was going to be a lot harder than it was. 
I thought this was going to be like, you know, like um, how you, you get the Berlin Moscow axis and then everyone like declares war on you. I thought it was going to be like, I do this and then everyone turns communist and I fight everyone, but uh, no. But don't worry, next year I still got to do a really cool peace deal and then I still got to form the EU. That's the thing I got to do because I use that in the video, so that's a thing, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, there we go. You gotta like fiddle around with the front line order to get it to connect to the right one. Go to Stalingrad. Oh, that'll, they'll get, they're getting there instantly now. Look at this. Is that it? It is. Okay, now I've got play-led peace conferences on. It'll be interesting to see what I want to do with this peace deal. Um, all right, here we go. The infamous peace deal. I kind of messed it up the first time, so I have to do it again. So we're back here again because I messed up the first peace conference. I couldn't do a focus that required me to... It, 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 okay, just pretend... Look, pretend this is the first time. Let's start with what I want. First, I think I want France territory. So I'm going to do what I did last time. I'm going to get all of Switzerland, this bit this bit and this bit, West Luxembourg. So I think that's fair, me getting all that. I also want some of Africa. I wouldn't mind like a middle Africa kind of thing going on. Like this, that's fine. And I also want a Ukrainian puppet. Okay, yeah, so I got Ukrainian puppet. Nice. Now that's pretty much all I want. I'm not really too concerned. I think these two areas should go to the, I, the Balkan Union. All right, that just makes sense, right? Um. I think Polish Lithuania should also get quite a bit of land. They did fight quite a bit. I think they got all of the Baltics. So Estonia, the other half of Latvia, and I think they should also get the Belarusian lands. The Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth gets that. And then Finland, of course, gets that. I think we'll make wide Finland actually. They can get that old lands back plus, you know, like that. That's pretty good. Britain, Britain deserves some land. So I'll give them like Syria and uh, a bunch of Africa. They can, they'll be happy with that, all right? They will be. And if they're not, they'll be forced to be happy with it. I'm not giving Britain any land in Europe. It would look terrible if I did, so I'm just not gonna do it. Now, what should we do about France? We could dissolve France and liberate like Occitania. I think that would be kind of cool. There's Occitania, liberated. And I will change the government, okay? We're not gonna puppet, okay? We're not evil, all right? We're democracies. We're gonna just change the government of France. Uh, this is going to go to the Basque country, so we don't have to worry about this southern province here. And I might add a demilitarized zone. <laughs> well, you re recognize this France? Does this look familiar? <laughs> now, I also want to dissolve a bit of Iberia. Actually, no, I want to liberate Portugal. That's what I want to do. Portugal, welcome back. You're alive. Where is... Dude, they need to organize this in terms of continents. I can never find what I need. Never, ever. Portugal. Welcome back into the fold, man. How are you? I liberated Catalonia and the Basque Country and then just changed the government of Spain to a democracy. I liberated Central Asia, a lot of the Far Eastern republics, and then also the Caucasus countries like Azerbaijan and Georgia. Look at this, world tension is at 64. Look how good of a job I'm doing. They need, they really need to add some liberatable countries here because I'm really sick of like liberating the entire Russia. I wish you could just dissolve Russia and then just keep this part as part of Russia because then when you just, when you liberate the entirety of Russia, it's still, this is all the old Russian government. So you've just got this Russian government that's just like a strip of land through Siberia and it looks really ugly. They need to add like some releasable states like all throughout Siberia here. I then changed the government of Russia to a democracy and then that was it. Personally, I think this was one of the most base peace deals I've ever done. I cannot think of a better peace deal I've ever done. I mean, look at this. Wow, look at Britain controlling all of Africa. Oh, well, I didn't know what else to give him. I couldn't really give him any land in France or anything, so. Eagle from the ashes. We have endured. We are not only alive, but we have prevailed in the face of annihilation. What started as an idea has now become reality. Germany is more united than ever before. We are truly one people. We no longer need the many flags of the Bund, but one central flag and joined name. A defender of freedom. Communism and fascism support goes down for a greater tomorrow. Oh, now we have an option. We can actually become not just a German confederation, but a European Union. Oh, we just did it. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. It just did it. We just became the European Union. Why didn't we get France? I don't know why I didn't annex France, Russia, or Italy. So I got to go do that really quick to make the map look good. I just made the best peace deal of all time only to ruin it and create the EU. I can create a faction with fascist Peru. Let's do it. Faction. Peru, we're gonna be called. Oh, ATO, look at this. 
Without the, we're not North Atlantic, it's, it's just the Atlantic. The Atlantic Treaty Organization. Also shorthand for the Australian Tax Office, my mortal enemy. Look at this, European Union done. Yes, this was hard work. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was a bit shorter, but I, it came out extra early, okay? So that makes up for it. Like if you've made it this far into the video, and I'll see you guys next time.